All right, Kobe. I'll be back. Hold down the fort, all right, bro? And don't be barking. Disturbing the owner. I'm going to the gym. I'll be back. Away go. Mi amigo. All right. Today is Sunday. And I'm doing something today that I never do. And that's go to the gym. I hate working out on a Sunday. For real. But I changed my mind. I'm going to tell you why. Hola, buenas. I'm great, I'm great. Yes, I'm going to the gym. <laughs> Fuego. Alright, so first of all, y'all hit that like button, please. Hit the like button. The algorithm, I gotta get it cracking. So either hit the like button or send something to Cash App, but you gotta contribute to my channel. And you know what? I feel some rain coming down. That's Costa Rica for you. But anyway, I decided. I got to change my ways and suck it up and just work on, go to the gym on a Sunday. Yeah. Because of my teacher platform, they do maintenance on Sundays. So I, my downtime is three hours, three and a half hours. You know, my, instead of me taking a break two, three hours on a Friday, to go to the gym, I might as well go to the gym on a Sunday. Utilize my time a little bit better. I say, fuck it. I'm just gonna go. It's just an ego thing about working on a Sunday. But hey, time is money. So I'd rather knock it out on a Sunday, because I'm gonna hit the gym five days a week. I'd rather knock it out on a Sunday, spend all day on Friday working. So since I didn't go to the gym on Friday, this past Friday, I just worked all day. And I was able to end my day earlier. So I'm gonna give me a bottle of tequila. So I'm gonna get into that kind of routine. So I'm kind of fucking stoked right now. My channel here is taking off, man. Like for real, it's taking off. Now, I always knew I'll eventually get YouTube to pay, but I couldn't focus on YouTube. Because when I left America, I didn't have no fucking job. And when I got to Columbia, I had to focus and find a job. Ended up finding teaching. And then getting used to the platform took a lot of my focus so I was only doing a video maybe once a week but now the teaching I done taught over I take my numbers today it was like 2600 it was like 2600 classes on them taught I knock out classes like it's nothing now I don't even think about it but now I've been like let's go ahead and focus on out of the way. Focus on my channel and dropping these videos every day. And it's working. I'm looking at my watch hours. I'm like, holy shit. My channel's taking off. I actually got a shot of getting monetized. So yeah, I'm going to keep y'all updated on that one. It shows my last update was uh, the 16th of July. It showed my watch hours at 297. I got the subscribers. Hopefully, Google AdSense don't trip. Because I used to, when I first started this channel, 
First of all, this channel it used to be my car business channel. And this dickhead who robbed me for all my plants, he robbed me uh, when I started marijuana. Little fucker jacked me for like 60000 in marijuana plants, bro. Oh, yeah. And he got a hold of my motherfucking channel, deleted all my videos with uh, my car business. So to sell cars, I would rip videos and get them edited. And that's how I sold my cars. The shit was dope. When I did that, it took my uh, business off, and I just do one taste. And then I had an editor at the office to edit my videos. All them videos are dope. Anyway, that little fucker, fuckhead deleted all my videos. I ain't got none of that shit. So, when I started this channel, it was like right when I was going to Columbia. And I said, man, I miss doing those videos with the car business. I go, you know what? I'm going to start shooting some videos with, with this traveling shit I'm doing. I did not know about the Passport Bro movement at the time. And I'm just dropping videos, sending to my homie Kusto. And then Kusto sent me my first Passport Bro video. And I'm looking at that video, I said, holy shit. This dude's talking about the same shit I'm talking about. Wow. And we moved on. So I ended up getting an editor in my first videos and a promoter. And I had a promoter promote my videos, and he helped me get the subscribers. So I know Google AdSense, they be tripping off of promoters. So I got the subscriber account, the count that they need. I just need to get the watch hours. So my watch hours right now, with the update 216, I mean on the 16th of July, it's so 297 watch hours. But, they're showing me the real-time stats, and my shit is, y'all like me. Go figure. I love it. So I didn't get 3,000 watch hours. Because I started doing the videos every day, now I'm getting there. You're going to see a lot of shorts out of me. I'm going through right now all my old footage, and I'm pulling shorts out of it. So shorts are adding up. So yeah, I think I can get those 3,000 watch hours real quick, the way the stats are going up. It's pretty fucking dope. Dude, if I can get YouTube to put some money in my pocket, P-I-M-P, what the fuck, bro? That's living the dream. And I'll put some more money. The content's gonna get way better because now I have some money to play with. I'll be doing all kind of shit. Really getting it in. So yeah, so don't think YouTube pays me any money. I don't get a fucking nickel out of YouTube. Only time I make money with this channel, if somebody's interested in being a teacher, and see my videos, they're like, oh, this dude is solid. You know? Or, uh, one of y'all donate to the cash app. But if I can actually get YouTube, Google AdSense to approve me, so I'll keep y'all updated on that. But uh, I keep looking at the stats. Maybe they already pushing me. I don't know. But I know my, these stats I'm looking at, I can look at it. I just looked at it about an hour ago. And every time I look at it, it keeps going up. So, yeah, I'm going to go through all my old footage. Draw a lot of shorts. You're going to get a lot of videos. I'm just going to be consistent and we'll see what happens, man. Because, uh, fuck, that's a hell of a. I'll be hella dope, bro. If you two could put it in my pocket. I'll be hearing about cats, man. How much money they be making on YouTube. That's like the ultimate right there. Y'all have no idea. You know, because my goal is, what I would like is uh, 
start spending three months per country and just bounce around. So any money I can get is definitely needed. But I'm going to pretend. Oh, yeah, by the way, stock market opens tomorrow. Keep an eye on serve. S E R V. Keep an eye on it. We're going to see what happens. I'm going to let y'all know the numbers tomorrow. Man, I was talking to my aunt yesterday. Trying to give me a buddy pass. Trying to get up out of here. But she really ain't got none. I'm like, damn. She goes, but. I had a couple of my friends at work. Maybe they got some. I'm like, hey, that'll be dope. I said, I got to get out of this country. It's just. It's expensive. Well, it's expensive for me right now. Because, you know, I went on that ride with my teacher ratings. And speaking of the teacher, I think they still having a problem with the rating system. It's Sunday. They always update. But you know what? I'm getting so many goddamn classes right now. It's as if I'm already at a five star. Like, I turn that thing on. It's like ding, 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 ding. So... Uh, I ain't going to complain. I ain't going to look. Looking at those numbers bothering me because it's all about the money. And the money coming in, I'm like, thank you. So, no figure. I'm just going in my head think I'm on a five star. Those ratings are crucial. So, when I'm telling people, you got to be careful with your ratings. Because you don't want to starve and it takes forever to get back up. It's gone three months since I got here to Costa Rica. When my ratings, I was at 4.9 because of bad internet, dropped me at 4.63. So I was at doing 20 classes a day, dropped me to doing two classes a day. That's bad, bro. Especially when this is my main income. So every Sunday, it updates, and it took me three months to get my shit back up to a 4.9. And. And that was right when I got here to Costa Rica. And then being at my buddy's spot, he had bad internet. Dropped my shit down another 20 points. And then I came into the city. I've been building it up. So all that shit, it's just like, it cost me money. I can't take those risks anymore. I mean, now that I make sure that I, any Airbnb I rent, you got super fast internet. Like, that's a beautiful thing. And my ratings been going back up. Like, this spot I'm at, that internet is Gucci. But, in the teacher platform, all the other teachers saying, complaining about the ratings and not counting all of them. So, I don't know what they, what they doing, but I think I'm back up. It's just it's not showing me. So, one less thing for me to worry about. You know? That's my main bread and butter right now. And I got a feeling come August, I'll have my life insurance license. I actually think I might be able to get monetized by August. Have some YouTube money coming in. Whew. That'll be lovely, man. Shit. I'll be looking at Kirk Cash videos. I'm like, this motherfucker got 3 million subscribers. I wonder what his checks be looking like. <laughs> anyway. I'm going to turn on my... Uh, I'm going to start studying my Spanish. Pretend it's a Monday. Go get my workout in. So I'm going to do another video. I'm done with the gym. See y'all back. Hey, like button. Hit the like button. That helps to, to boost my channel. I'm trying to get it cracking. Hit that like and donate to the cash app. First of all, shout out to Costa Rica. This fucking smart fit here. Lord. There's so many baddies up in there. For real. So many baddies. I felt like I just walked out of a strip club right now. Oh my God. If I ever, ever had to see in the inside of an American gym again, I would just cry. I would. The obesity problem in America is so bad. 
It's so bad. And I got a rule. I do not date women that wear bigger underwear than me. And majority of the women in America now wear bigger underwear than me. I can't have it. But here, Costa Rica, fellas, passports up, everything else down. And shout out to Brazil, yes, for that quote. All right, I'm hungrier than a hostage. Let me go get some food. Hasta luego. Ooh, man, that wasn't so bad. I wasn't so bad working out on a Sunday. I'm glad I got it over with. A little hungover. Friday and Saturday is my drinking days. So, I'm ready to get it in. You know what? I was surprised. I haven't been in a gym on a Sunday in probably decades. It's pretty packed up in there. Pretty impressive. I got me some hot dogs from the fresh market. I didn't feel like walking over to Maxi Pad and go grocery shopping. I made some bomb ass spaghetti last night. I didn't finish it all, damn near though. So I'm gonna head to the crib, wash my ass, have some spaghetti, take a nap. By that time, the maintenance will be over. Go ahead and teach some English. Forex market opens up today. Boy, this wind is kicking. You know, and I'm gonna end this video. Continue when I get back to the crib. All right, I'm back at the crib. My bad. Maybe I should open up the camera. Ah, I got used to that walk. It ain't so bad after all. 20 minutes, that's whatever. Oh, I hear Kobe tripping. I hope he wasn't barking the whole time. Poor little guy. You know I heard dogs can smell their owners from five miles away. So he probably smelled me coming. Hola, hola. Yeah. Oh, thank you. Muchas gracias. Gosh, you're the best. Yeah, that's awesome. She got some chicken and rice she made for me. And they good cooks, too. I'm happy to been getting able to get some authentic Costa Rican food. What's up, Kobe? What's up, man? What's up? What's up, man? What's up? What's up, man? What's up, man? Yeah. Let me turn on the light. She got me some food to say. That's awesome. Come here, man. Come here, man. Come here, man. Yeah. I'm back. Cool. I ain't got to make my hot dogs. I can just eat see what she made. Come here, Toby. Whew. Come here, man. Come here, man. Come here, man. All right. Yeah, okay, okay. All right, man. All right. We're going to get you a friend. I got to get a female Maltese for him, so I got to have some puppies. You know, I spent like five grand on Kobe. Pure bread. And I need to raise another five grand and get a female. Huh, Kobe? Huh, man? Huh, man? It's my little buddy. All right, man. So, whew, back at the house. So, I'm ready to grind it out. So, I got to go through all my old footage. I be saying some crazy ass shit sometimes on these videos. I'll just wing it. But I'm going to go through some old footage that I got on this phone. Try to pull out shorts. So, y'all about to be seeing a lot of shorts out of me. I wish I had all my previous footage with that Insta360 camera, which eventually I'm going to replace. So, subscribe. Definitely subscribe. Please hit the like button. Please donate to support. But yeah, man, if I get monetized, let me see, today's July 21st. So I'm going to do a countdown and see how long it's going to take me 
You get monetized. But man, if I can get monetized, that would be a blessing, man, for real. Because I'm broke. I'm broken in this Ten Commandments right now. I need to get some cake, bro. For real. But I'm just going to hang in there. I ain't tripping. August is going to be a big month for me. I'm already knowing. I got my ratings back up, so the classes is kicking in. I got my August 19th hearing to get my insurance license. That one's really going to take me over. And maybe I can get this channel monetized by then. So, about to do some shit, man. I just need more money. And I can go get in all kind of shit. And really get it cracking. But be patient with me. Y'all gonna watch me go. One thing about me, I keep it 100. All the way 100. I don't lie about nothing. I keep it all the way 100. Ain't no faking the funk with me. If I got a lot of chips, I got a lot of chips. If I'm broke as fuck, I'll let you know. I don't care. You know, but uh, let's see. 150. All right. Maintenance be done in an hour. I'm about to go grab this food. Actually, hold on. Let me go grab it right now. Let me show y'all what y'all. What this made, lady made. Hold on, Cubby. I'll be right back. Yeah. Let me see. This lady's awesome, bro. Awesome. All right. It's, it's preparing. I say when it's ready. Look. Ooh, right the chicken. Nice. nice. Uh -huh. Beautiful. <laughs> I love it. Very good, Mister. Mr. It's ready. ready. I'll have a plate right now. You know, it's it's, yeah. it's, it's in, in around forty-five minutes. Forty-five, 45 minutes. Forty-five minutes. Okay. I say, I say message. Come in there. In the yeah, store. that looks so very good. Very good. Very good. Mm. Uh -huh. <laughs> Perfect, though. Perfect. Perfect. Looks good. I can. I could definitely wait 45 minutes. That's cool by me. That lady's an excellent cook, man. And speaking of cooking, I haven't been in the mood lately to cook my... Uh, I like picking five-star rated recipes. And I've been cooking that shit, man. I've done hundreds of like the best fucking dinners ever. I'm going to eventually get back in my mood for cooking. I see make some more money. Start buying the seasonings. Maybe when I get my ass to Mexico, get some girls over there to come help me cook. You know, that's going to be fun. Anyway, I'm going to go ahead and uh, end this video and go wash my ass and take me a quick nap. So, hasta la wego.